All right, you guys, first up is going to be dopamine. So dopamine is a chemical or a hormone that is responsible for the pleasure or reward center in our brains. So when you feel some sort of pleasure or excitement or happiness from something, um, such as I'm going to give a lot of examples based on food. So when you go and eat a candy and you get that rush in your brain, or even food in general, most of the time, if it's something satisfying, that is a rush of dopamine being released into your brain and you're able to feel that. So with hormones, a lot of this is going to go back to either weight loss slash weight gain, or uh, it'll go back to, I'll lead it back to something like ADHD. Um, so for an example, um, people with ADHD, nobody knows for sure what causes that, but it is said that people with ADHD may have a lack of dopamine. They're not, they're not able to produce that dopamine as much as other people. Therefore, they cannot focus because it also is something that helps with focus. So something that is a real struggle for people is when they're stressed out, mad, whatever the case is, they will go to food for their comfort a lot of times or something else. Whatever their crutch is, the, something that will make them feel better. So their, their brain releases something that says, That's, that feels pleasure to me. That makes me excited. That makes me feel better, basically. Food is a really big one. You eat that food. You're like, oh, that, that helps me feel better because that release of dopamine is going into your brain. And then you want to continue eating because you feel good. The problem with that is eventually over time, and it actually happens very quickly, you continue to want those rushes of dopamine and they become shorter and shorter. So you're eating more and more food or doing whatever, leaning on whatever crutch, whether it be drugs or alcohol or coffee, whatever the case it is, you're wanting that more and more and more because those rushes are becoming smaller and they're not lasting as long. So I'm gonna read you guys this little thing about obesity. Um, it says here that most of the time if you take in more calories than, you're, than you burn, you'll gain weight. So why can't obese people simply eat less and slim down? The answer isn't that simple. They may face obstacles that others don't. They, have, they could have a problem with their natural reward system. This can affect the amount of food they eat before they feel satisfied. So there's that part I'm saying, you're gonna to continue to want more and more and more because you're not gonna feel satisfied. So you've got an imbalance there. And then of course there is that issue with, it, it ties in with serotonin too, which we will get to, but that then ties into, okay, I want to eat more food. I am not getting that those rushes or not as many of them. I'm gonna eat more. Therefore you are eating more calories and then what you're burning. So it's as simple as that for dopamine. So that one also helps with your dopamine helps with learning and concentration. So if you don't have that in your brain or you've gotten in balance of that, you're not going to be able to concentrate as well. You're not going to be able to stay motivated. Therefore, you're not going to maybe go work out or go on a walk. Therefore, you're not going to burn calories and lose weight that you're wanting to lose. That's a big thing. Or if it's not losing weight, you're not gonna have that concentration to want to do whatever task it is that you're wanting to do. 